Hey, how's it going to YouTube? I thought I'd do a, a video here after having this gun for one a day. So, here's kind of my uh, impression on this gun. Don't like it. Shitty gun. Uh, literally. Here's the issues with this gun. The way I see it. One, the pistol grip is just garbage. I don't like it. It's weird. Uh, really hard to, to do anything with. I hope there will be some customization coming into it. Uh, so that's number one. Number one, the pistol grip is just not any good. Okay. Um, in order for you to hold it good, you run into the problem of, if you see here, I can't hold it really right. And this is on safe now. If I put it on fire, I can't even hold the gun right. Uh, the, you get the two safety, the A and B safety, is in your hand here and to get an actual good grip you're see you're running into this safety. so both safeties are a piece of shit and I'm trying to figure a way of getting those uh, figured out either to design something or to cut them shorten them uh, they're very stiff as well so that's another uh, problem with the gun uh, the trigger is garbage very stiff, mushy, and uh, the actual trigger shoe is plastic, so I don't know how is this is going to stand uh, any work, but inside the trigger itself looked like uh, an AK trigger, a miniature AK trigger, so you can probably do some work with it. Uh, the spring sucks, and like I said, the shoe here, uh, we're zooming, this is all plastic as you can see. Okay, so that's another thing that I don't like. Uh, the whole gun is polymer, which is fine, but it just it seems like it's two molds that they meet together right there, as you can see. Just two shells, as you can see, all polymer, two shells. Just don't see the quality in it, and I've been seeing a lot of videos talking about this gun is the sh kind of like that. That's it, it's not. Uh, it's uh, from what I see, I don't like anything. Uh, I'm still keeping it. I'm, I already filed the form one for it, so it's staying. But I'm not a fan of it. Uh, the uh, charging handle is very, very small. In order for you to pull the charging handle, you can see here, you run into the problem of uh, getting your hand kind of graded on uh, the uh, Picatinny rail here and doesn't give you an option to get those Picatinny rail removed. I would uh, I would have thought they would probably give you an option for this to be removed or have a, a bigger um, charging handle like the MP5s. Sights are, like I said, they're made from some type of aluminum but they're just kind of fucking weird. Uh, again, not happy with that two shell kind of attached together with uh, how many screws. Uh, doesn't make me feel fuzzy, I guess, inside. Um, but yeah, pistol grip is the weirdest shit that I have ever seen. Don't know who designed it or how did they design it with the safety that way. But it just, you cannot get a good grip on it. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be pissed off but or mad at me and oh you don't know what you're talking about or what about tears that's my experience. Uh, you have a lot of SBRs at this point and uh, yeah this is not any good. I mean the Chris Victor is all polymer but you can tell quality uh, finish all that stuff from this. The other thing is your uh, suppressor, if you're going to plan in to suppress this, uh, the pattern is different uh, on here, so, and I believe there's an adapter in there, so if you can move it, you got a retaining, and a little notch in there that is retaining, you can just move it, apologize for the one-handed deal here, just hold this. So it's uh, not a standard pitch, and I'm assuming uh, this is adap this adapter here. I'm not sure if we can remove or not, but I don't think so. Uh, the other thing, you're not sure if there is any adapters made for it. So 
if you have a suppressor at this point, you're not going to be able to run it on this gun. So I am planning, once I get the shop set up and moved and all that, um, try to change this uh, charging handle, make something bigger, uh, maybe something, or try to get a, what is it, a K31, or one of those uh, HK charging handles that has a spring that folds, and then you can open it, charge, and then it'll fold back out. That'll be a good uh, addition to this or change here. The pistol grip, don't know if we're going to have to come up with something or have to stipple this and cut it and contour it, but it's too skinny up top and too fat in the bottom, just kind of weird. Um, the trigger, I'm going to have to figure out something, get a new trigger or coming up with my own. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, UK is a cool toy. They have not, uh, don't see the, the, the quality in it, to be honest, or the, the value. If I have to buy another one, I will not. If I have to redo this and rethink it over, I would not buy it. If you're going to buy one of those, I would uh, try it first, um, see it, take a look at it. And then go try an MP5. Uh, the price comparison, of course, is different, but from my uh, from my opinion, you're getting a lot for, from the MP5 uh, than this. The other option you have is uh, if you go like look at a Chris Vector, do you, uh, you know they're probably coming out with a nine millimeter this year? When I talked with them, they said probably end of 2015, 2016 when it's going to be released. So that could be the option. You can buy, uh, from my understanding, too, you can buy the 45 like I have, and you can change the upper and have a 9mm and 45. So <clears throat> that's something to consider. And there's some good deals on Chris Vectors right now. You can find them. And you can file your papers. You can buy a pistol, file your paper, and uh, go ahead and buy the stock for a couple hundred bucks or 150 bucks, or buy the adapter and put the Magpul stock on it. And your gold in here, um, again, I just don't see it. The best thing in this gun, and I think what makes it popular, is the magazines. Magazines are cheap, and uh, that what makes it kind of cool, I guess, and people want to buy it. But uh, a lot of plastic in this gun. So, thanks for watching.